How's it going, Star Wars fans? Welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6-inch action figure review today. Uh, i got Clone Commander Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, it has been a few weeks since I've uh, put a video up on my channel here. I've uh, just been quite busy and not getting as many figures recently, but hopefully that will change in the next couple of weeks with Triple Force Friday approaching uh, only a fortnight away, so very much looking forward to it. Um, before we get a look at the figure, I just want to... Just wanted to remind people to head over to the podcast uh, that I do with my buddy Lockie. Uh, we're on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and you can listen now on those outlets there listed. Uh, StarWarsGoFigure.com, the website down below, is still under construction, but it will be up very soon. So definitely invite you to come and check it out on social media and come and have a listen over on YouTube as well. Um, we do have a separate channel for the podcast. We're having a great time. Uh, last night, I was I was able to interview Sith Lord 229, very well known here on, on YouTube in the Star Wars community. So I'll be releasing that episode over the weekend. So come and, come and subscribe, check it out, and, and you can check out that interview. It was a really good chat. I'm really excited to, to release this episode. But we're here for this action figure review. Um, and I'll be honest, when this figure was announced... Oh, a celebration, I think it was. I can't remember. Um, I wasn't super excited for it, mainly because it is a non-canon canonical appearance of Obi Wan. Uh, having the figure in hand now, it does change my mind. It is an outstanding figure. I really, really like it a lot. But uh, yeah, I honestly thought we were going to get the six-inch version of of this Obi Wan, which is from the canonical Clone Wars. Um, which would have been equally as cool, um, but it is nice to have this sort of this vintage collection three and three quarter inch version. Uh, personally, I think I'd still prefer this in a six inch version, but I'm very happy with what we've got. So, just comparing it side by side with the three and three quarter inch version from 2007's 2008's Legacy Collection. And he is not holding his lightsaber, but he's got the big big pike there and underneath he definitely looks a bit different he looks like an angry Scotsman <laughs> but this was still a cool figure I, I do remember the day pick I picked this I picked up this figure um, and it was just an off chance that line had been a few years a few years and gone and uh, you yeah, know I just managed to come across it in a supermarket so still a cool figure and uh, yeah I dig it but we're here for this black series six inch beauty. So we'll get a good close-up look of his face. Now, get the light down there. There we go. That's a bit better. Now we're taking, Hasbro has taken full advantage of the, uh, the photo reel face deco. And this is a new sculpt in terms of his head. There is a slight missed spot of paint there just where he's um, beard meets, meets up with the top of his ear there on the sideburns um, but that's okay, that's an easy little fix I've got plenty of paints that we could just put, dob a little bit on there and that'll be fine but otherwise, it looks pretty good looks really really good nicely sculpted nicely painted this is a, this is a really really nice figure but for the most part it's using most most of the body parts are from the Phase One Clone Trooper, which has been out for a few years now. Um, again, not a bad figure, but they've slightly retooled it um, in order to fit the soft goods, the belt, uh, these bits here up on the chest to sort of hold that fabric in place. Um, it is one, just one singular piece of fabric to make up his cape. It sort of loops around, wraps around the back there. So you can sort of see the clone armor underneath. I'm not going to remove it at all. So it just wraps around the front there. Drops through there. Now these will pop out. These little circle bits, they are just sort of, they just sort of do pop in. I have super glued them in place. Um, I just didn't want them popping out. They are quite small. And something that would be hard to replicate if I, if I did lose one. Um, so I made sure to glue them in and hold them into place. Also helps with the placement of the fabric too. Um, the belt was on there loose. I have put a tiny little bit of glue underneath the belt and sort of glued that to the uh, the cod piece on the armor there. So that holds 
holds the belt in place and doesn't sort of doesn't um, limit the movement at all um, and it does keep the soft goods in place where I want it to it does come with his lightsaber I actually did swap this with the existing uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi from Revenge of the Sith because uh, the new one that came with this figure it was the black and the gold was there though the bronze um, but the silver bits were just plain plastic um, and it just looked a little bit cheap uh, so I decided to put the cheap lightsaber with the cheaper looking figure and give this one the, the better looking lightsaber. Now he does come with these stands, uh, when well, he comes with one of these stands. Um, I did talk about this one in the Jump Trooper review. At the time I was sort of, I was sort of digging it, but uh, yeah, I've sort of backflipped a little bit on, on how I feel about these stands. I've managed to get it work, working okay for this figure. Um, it doesn't work for all of them, but you manage to just wedge Wedge the foot in there enough, it will hold reasonably well. And if you can strike up a pose, like I've done here, that isn't reliant on, that doesn't rely on it too much, let's just say that, it does work okay. So I've got him in just in a slightly, almost like a slow walking, walking uh, pose. But, like I said, the head sculpt is where this figure really shines. Um, it's just another great, great looking figure. Um, I'd like to see them continue. They t tend to... Hasbro has been a little bit annoying in the sense that they tend to release just odd, odds and ends. Like, we got Jaina Solo, but we never saw Jason Solo. We got Darth Revan, but we never saw Darth Malak or Bastilla Shan. Uh, this seems to be one of those figures where we're probably not going to get a counterpart for it. Um, such as a such as an Anakin from the, the uh, Tartakovsky Clone Wars series, but that's okay. This one stands alone. Um, I haven't displayed him with my Black Series figures. Um, he's up there with my DVDs of the uh, Clone Wars Tartakovsky series. So pretty damn good figure. Articulation-wise, he's got a ball jointed head, ball hinged neck, ball hinges at the shoulders, double joints in the elbows, ball hinges in the wrists. Upper torso joint, uh, ball hinge in the thighs, uh, swivel cut in the thighs, double joint in knees, and ball hinge in the ankles. So all that awesome articulation you expect from these figures. Uh, one thing I would have liked is if they gave him a new hand because he's still holding a trigger finger there, which <laughs> it's a little bit off. But the lightsaber hilt is peg all into the belt. There is a small peg hole just there. The armor, however, here does restrict where that lightsaber is able to sit when it is pegged in. So the way I see it, this guy's ready for war. He's going to have his lightsaber out. He's ready for battle. He's ready to face Dirge. Um, he's going to have his lightsaber out ready. So definitely a figure I recommend. Uh, looking forward to taking some, some shots of this guy uh, in the future. It's a, it's a really cool looking figure and uh, yeah, like I said, I definitely recommend it. So stay tuned for some more videos guys. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, I'll be back very, very soon. So until then, may the force be with you.